Hi, good morning. This is Bill Costanzo, Research Specialist at the AgriLife Center in San Angelo. Uh, this morning I'm going to talk to you guys about our um, Livestock Guardian Dog Bonding Project. So, um, this morning we have one of our newest pups here. Uh, this is Shirley. Uh, the um, oh, pup's just eight weeks old. And so, um, oh, we just picked her up uh, a couple days ago. She's in the uh, bonding pen here with four different animals, um, one of each species that we deal with on a regular basis and that the pup will um, oh, probably encounter later on in life. <clears throat> so if you guys have been following us in the past, um, you'll know that uh, we had bonding pens out in the pastures. And so we've started a second phase of that project this year. And so we're bonding um, oh, two pups. There'll be another pup that comes in a, another couple weeks. Uh, and these pups will be up here at the AgriLife Center. So these pups will see people and vehicles traveling around on a regular basis every day uh, versus the pups that are out in the pasture uh, that only get human contact when I go out and socialize with them or if we're moving some livestock around. So one of the important things, um, oh, if you followed some of our videos on uh, YouTube or, and that have been posted on Facebook, is the socialization process. So it's really important that you socialize your uh, pups on a regular basis so that you're able to catch them um, later on when they're out in the field. And so one of the things that we like to do is tether the pups. And tethering is important in case uh, oh, at some point in time later on when the pups are adults and they're out working on a pasture that they encounter a snare. And so I start out uh, just a short amount of time. Uh, oh, I catch the pups. Uh, you can either use a piece of rope or a chain, whatever you have, um, something that will simulate a snare. <clears throat> this is the first time this pup has been tethered, and so I just leave them on there starting out for a couple minutes. Um, you'll notice that she's struggling a little bit right now, but it's much better that she's doing this now at this age versus being tethered or caught in a snare when she's an adult at 125 pounds. We start out with just a couple minutes, and um, oh, then I slowly increase the time uh, each week. And so you can check out our video on socialization on the YouTube channel. And you can notice she's already starting to calm down just after being tethered for just a few seconds. So that's what we do as far as tethering. Um, oh, if you have any questions, please contact us here at the AgriLife Center. Thank you very much.